This was a remarkable criminal enterprise. Really remarkable. John and his older brother Frank lived anything but a normal life. Much apprehension is felt for the safety of a merchant from Medora. He left Mr. Holmes' auction store a little before 9 o'clock to go to bed at the Raider house. Since then, nothing has been heard from him. He was known to have a large sum of money about him, which gives color to the fears of his friends that he met with foul play and probably his death right here. My brothers did some bad things, but everybody loved them, and no one loved them more than me. They had these tentacles. It wasn't like four guys who rode on every outlaw activity. This was much more complicated, much more sophisticated. They must have been on the good side of the sheriff. A vigilante committee composed of sober, respectable men must be organized. Yeah. Yeah. The hanging of a few of these villains until they were dead would show the country. The tragedy of my brother's treatment is solely the fault of the United States. They've gotten lost in history behind the names of famous Old West outlaws like Billy the Kid, the James and Younger gangs. Their impact I think is far greater than any of those guys. So is anything that the Dalton gang did, or the James gang afterward, was learned from the Reno boys. The Civil War might have brought peace and unification to the country, but around here, things just got worse.